Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Air Memories of Old. This is a gorgeous game, for what I've seen. I've seen it at a couple of conventions here and there, and I've always stayed away from it because I knew I wanted to play it, because Flying Sky Islands is, like, the number one thing that I like to, like, pretend should exist in the world. Like, some days I'll look up at clouds and be like, maybe there's just, like, an island up there. If I had a plane, I could get up there. And then I realized that's stupid and suicidal and I don't want to do it. Uh, but it looks gorgeous and I can't wait to play it. Thing is, uh, this is version 1.6430. Uh, so this is... This might not actually be the uh, full version. It comes out in uh, two days from this filming. So if we're lucky, we get the full version. And it may be just launching into early access, which would be weird. Or they'll update it to 1.0. I have no idea. Let's get going. Hmm. Oh, listen. You, uh, I know you are eager to explore, but the pilgrimage is important to the people of the sky. As you know, in the early days before the Great Divide, the lands were very different from now. Instead of islands in the sky, the lands were one, and the ancients inhabited the world. They built great structures. Among them, three temples here in the land of gods. Your journey will lead you to all three of them. But something changed. The ancients somehow caused the Great Divide, shattered the lands, and left us with islands in the sky. The priestess Kara prayed by the lighthouse, and found answers that helped our people survive the Great Cataclysm. The first stop for every pilgrim is to visit Kara's shrine. So go on in, uh, Auk? Auk? Auk. I will wait for you outside. It's got loud. Auk. Okay. Ah! Okay, so first first and foremost, this game is a fair bit louder than I thought it was going to be. Let's just drag this down to, what? 70? 70%. We'll see. Yeah, she has no face. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is a low-poly game. So, it would not surprise me too much, uh, if it, if it's gonna be kind of detail-free. But that's okay, like, you don't really need... Oh, if I just press A? Oh, no. <laughs> If I let go, there's just kind of this, like, weird, sudden halt. Actually, it's really if I just get up to anything, there's no end. Oh. Okay, I see. So it won't let me jump until I actually pass the tutorial. That's odd. That I don't know, I'm used to games that are just like, oh, okay. You have access to the game. Music is loud. Uh, you've access to the game. You have access to every move, unless there's, like, unlockable moves. This one's like, no, you have to get past them in the tutorial to actually get them to go. Okay, well, I guess we'll just drop the... the music down. Do we want 50%? Let's do, like, 60, 70, maybe. Balancing audio is really hard. Anyway, let's read this. This tablet is really worn. A part of the text is unreadable. In the Land of Gods, there were three. In three houses, slumbering in eternal skies. Yeah, I can't change my trajectory very well in the air, but I turn into a bird later, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. The memory of light in our heart, shining with the name of Kara. Her lantern guided and protected us when the world shattered and we became the people of the sky. This is pretty. I, I've needed some kind of, like, uh, explore-y game uh, for a little while. We had, um, we had a hat in time, which was fantastic. Uh, and I don't think this is going to exactly sit, fit in the same vein, but it might scratch similar itches in some ways. Well, I'm going to fling myself down here and figure out if we have fall damage. The answer is no. Good. Uh, mm, okay, we don't want to go down there. I just don't want to miss any, uh... I don't want to miss any any tablets. Not that the lore seems particularly standouty, but if this does turn into a real series, which I think it will be, um, then I'd, I'd prefer to actually, you know, see everything. Is that a squirrel totem? I, I gotta go back and look at this thing. I think I kind of went past it because I was looking for other stuff, but what is this? A squirrel? A fox? No, that's a squirrel totem. These people love their squirrels, I guess. 
multi-tailed squirrels, maybe. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, either that or it's a two-tailed fox. They worship tails. Let's see. Yeah, when I say explorey game, I'm talking about, like, Abzu. I'm talking about Journey. You know, something that you kind of just load up and wander around. Uh, let's see. You know, there aren't a whole lot of games where you can kind of just kick, kick back and wander around for a while. Uh, usually games put in combat or bosses, and I'm like, eh, I don't want to do that sometimes. Enter the Hall of Memory, where sleeps the light of Kara. It never went out while she was alive. Ask, and maybe it will shine forth to answer you. Antichamber. Antichamber is like a, a puzzle game, though. Kind of portal style. Which isn't bad, but like... When I say journey, I mean like there's a very specific subset of like stuff that I like. Huh. I recognize those runes. From journey. Eh, whatever. Well, I broke it. Oh, you can see people worshipping here. The... The icons all over are actually people. Or the ghosts they're in. That's creepy. Also, I just broke this temple. What's this? There's just a dude hanging out here. Okay. <laughs> we worship the light of Kara. Her light has not gone out in thousands of years. And then you went in there and broke it. Nice going. Ack. 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 Maybe I should just like speak her name worse and worse every time. So by the end of it, I'm just going like, Aah. I probably shouldn't. This actually seems like a fairly decent game. Something that I should probably te treat with some kind of reverence. I hope these lanterns will burn long enough to guide the young pilgrim. Huh. Yeah, we could go down. I'm curious. I mean, it looks like there'd be something down there. No, it doesn't look like there's actually anything down there. Well, that's okay. And we're going to go into settings and keep turning this game volume down. Because it, uh... This is a loud game. Probably don't want to go any quieter uh, than this. Because when it's loud, it's loud. And when it's quiet, it's real quiet. And there's, like, no good middle ground. But that's okay. Visually, this game really reminds me of Astroneer, actually, in a very good way. Obviously, they're completely different, but still. Unfortunately, if the if this is only like a beta version, I'm I'm worried about. Well, yeah, that's broken. I just okay. I can just pull out the lantern whenever I want. I almost feel like I might have to start over when the full thing comes out. Hmm. Back. You made it out okay! Thank the gods you're alright. What happened in there? I thought the worst when the cave collapsed. Is that... the lantern? Hmm, strange. We forgot how to make those years ago. The lantern is an ancient artifact called Kara's Light. Somehow it shines for you. It's the first time in generations. Keep it safe for now. I'll stay here to investigate the shrine. Meanwhile, you should continue your pilgrimage. There's a village over by the lighthouse. Just follow the kites to get there. Talk to Dinah when you arrive. She'll tell you where to go next. Transform when jumping. I'm a bird! Yep. Whoa. Okay, so bird bird flight is actually a thing. Uh-oh. Well, 
I'm a bird person, so there's like actually surprisingly uh There's surprisingly little uh issues. Wow. This is really pro what I okay. Confusing. I up uh, okay. I kind of understand how to fly. I don't understand how to fly. I'd be a shitty bird. And that's okay. God, I hope there's no fall damage, because we are going to, uh... Okay. So, when we're about to hit the ground, we just kind of right ourselves. Awesome! Yeah, I want to go see what this thing is. Huh. Yeah, you really can hot swap between forms. That's cool. It'd be nice if there was, like, a double jump. I like bird mode, but... Uh, I feel like a double jump might make it a little bit easier to get around to places. So what's this? I is this just like kind of a magical birdhouse? It's just a magical birdhouse. Okay. Is there... Okay, so we have a map. Ooh, that's a pretty map. We can reset the camera. I guess really what I'm supposed to do is not flap all the time if I want to go slow. Because we kind of just come to a halt otherwise. Okay, I'm digging this. I don't even know what to do. But... I'm just going to do it. Uh, lighthouse is probably that thing over there. Yeah, usually games like to hide secrets and collectibles, but this might just be kind of like a... A uh, look-see type game. Which I can- I can get behind. Be nice if there's like the, uh, the occasional thing. Follow the kites. I could follow the kites, or I can do other stuff. I think it's time to set up camp by the lighthouse again. John, we need- need a larger island now that our baby is growing. Interesting. So... What game had it where you could find and listen to ghosts in this manner? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, so this is the lighthouse. The village is right down in there. But, I'm gonna be honest. Village doesn't interest me too much yet. Twilight Princess. Yeah, you're right. Twilight Princess actually really does have kind of the, the same effect and style. Wait, what? There was a... Uh... Oh, the building's over here. But is there... Is there anything to do with this? I guess there's more people. Go back, Yohal. This is not your path. Interesting. So there's the two-tailed fox squirrel. Oh, hello. I'm Yohal of the Southern Isles, and this is the first entry in the tale of my people. Our homelands around the city Ur Urza are shattered. The world broke apart. I think it has to do with the ending of the Great War against On. I've gathered the survivors who have made camp amongst the islands now floating in the sky. I use broken stones to sail towards the lands of the gods. I hope to find answers there. I called for spirit animals, but I can't tell if they heard me. Before I left, I saw a sickness take hold of a tree, covering it in black rock. I must warn the other clans. Yeah, you're right. In uh, in Twilight Princess, I could absolutely. <laughs> so if I if I just nose dive into an island, actually, if I nose dive into an island, I turn back into person mode, which is almost exactly w what we need. Can you walk as a bird on the ground? No, sadly. Uh, if I try and do that, I just turn back into person. This would actually be a really cool uh, concept if uh, we could also turn into a couple other forms, like, you know, some kind of overland movement as well. Uh, just because it would be kind of fun to be able to turn into, like, a fox or a, a stag, actually. I Suddenly I'm reminded of World of Warcraft, but... I'm not going to say that's a 
terrible means of explaining it, explaining it. What's this? Oh. Oh. Ew. Okay, so that's the black rock growing straight out of a bunny. Oh. So, there is actually going to be a, a greater plot than just like, fly around pretty islands. I'm okay with that. Antlers of stone. I'm looking to see if there's any like, uh, logs, but I think... Logs, journal entries, anything, but it looks like this is mostly just a... This is mostly just a, a thing to look at. And to be fair, it looks nice. I do wish that there was a, uh, a slightly slower version of flight so I could actually kind of take my time around things. Though, it looks like I'm gonna have to cover some hefty ground by the time I'm done with this. Okay, there's something over there. Oh, hey, it's another stone tablet. Sure. In the beginning, there was the dreamer asleep in cold eternity. She dreamed all there is. She dreamed a veil, and behind the veil, she dreamt the creator and the world, modeled from a memory of home. The creator danced into the world, and there he breathed the clouds and sang the sun and moon into being. As he danced between the clouds, he took four steps and so made the lands of the north, the west, the south, and the east. Then he formed the mountains, and filled the seas with water from the clouds. And from earth and water he made animals, so land and sea would be alive. From stardust and eternity he made gods to walk the lands and look after the world. You yeah, may also be thinking of Hollow Knight. You're right. There are kind of the, the whole, like, mysteries of the world. An uninvited guest. I like the achievements in this game. <laughs> Bother random creatures and find random things. But yeah, this is really pretty. The music is perfect for this. And I can go straight through the clouds. That is a cool effect. Alright, well, it looks like I've got a billion other things to do. But, I should probably head down to the settlement. Wait, hold on, hold on. Controlling this is going to take... All... Learning how to control this game properly is going to take the entire game. I don't fly in many games, and it gets a little bit confusing. Damn it. Okay, let's try that again. Not that it matters. Whoops! Yeah, I don't know if it would be better for me to, uh... To invert the, uh... Yeah, I'm actually... I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see if I can invert the, uh... Camera Y-axis. Uh, did that... That didn't take, did it? It did. What? But that's... What? I... Oh! Invert bird Y. Yeah, this might work better? I don't know. Yeah, I, I totally didn't see the uh, invert bird option. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so uh, I assume later on I'm going to be able to do like wind tunnel shit and stuff. That'll be cool. I want to see what we'll have to do. But yeah, let's let's stop by the the town over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this, this is much easier on me. I never thought I was much for inverted flight controls. Some game must have broken me there. Hey. Hello, ah, and welcome. What was that noise we heard? What? You made it out okay? 
Ha, oh, I'm John, by the way. Diana and I take care of the lighthouse here on the island. We try and make sure nothing weird happens in the land of the gods. Not an easy job, considering all the strange old runes and wonders here. I haven't had much time to visit them since Aaron was born, but I don't mind. I don't mind. I think she longs for adventure, which makes her father proud. If you have time, I recommend if uh if you have the time, I would recommend you go to the Windsong Falls. When the world was whole, a water spirit combed her hair at the stream there. Beautiful hair at that. The wind sang to make her hair flow down until it mixed with the clouds. Thus the rainbow was born. Not that I've ever seen one there myself, but it's a nice story. Anyway, you can find the place just north of here. Continue beyond the clouds. I like a game that just tells me about cool places to go look. Wait, okay, there's an interior to this tent, and it is a giant rock. The inverted X is hell incarnate. I have no idea what monsters play with inverted X, but they are dumb people. Dumb and insane people. Oh, here we are. Are you alright, Auk? It was Auk, right? We heard rumblings from Kara's shrine. I'm so glad you made it out. My name is Diana, and welcome. It was a long time ago we had a pilgrim here. Your mentor, Medvin, was actually the last one before you. My parents helped him back then, and now I, John, and our daughter Erin will help you. If you ever feel lost, just return here and talk to us. We are here to guide you, after all. Every pilgrim's journey requires a visit to the three temples in the land of the gods. Kara sealed them a long time ago, right after the Great Divide. There's a sigil on the ground close to each temple. That's where we gather to pay respects to the spirits, and so you too should go there. Sacred words are revealed to those who approach them with an open mind. The Eventide Sanctuary is closest, and you will find it northwest of here. So does this end up in our uh, map? No, it doesn't. I wonder if the whole game is going to fit in this small map here. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Ock! Ock! That's your name, right? Right? What happened? Did you see any ghosts? Or spirit animals? Treasures? Secrets? I want to explore too. It's so unfair I am stuck on this island. Sometimes I go on adventures with my parents, but it's still adventures. We once went to a super awesome place. It's up north. It's kind of snowy. With this huge statue. It's kind of broken, but still cool. And my name's Aaron, so, you know. Okay, is there anybody else here or anything to get? How much would a... God. I'd love to play a game like this where... Actually, you know, easy example, cross this kind of gameplay and world with Mega Man Legends. How cool would that be? You're flying from island to island in, like, kind of flight flight mode. Uh, but every island has, like, raidable temples and tombs and stuff. Oh, that'd be amazing. I'd play the shit out of that. It would be so satisfying. Uh, why did they have to give up on the Mega Man, uh, Mega Man Legends series? They were cool. Really cool. I can't read this. It's written in a language I don't know. And much of it is broken and almost unreadable anyway. Maybe Medvin knows how to decipher it. Same deal? Okay. So I should probably just uh, run around and look at stuff. Fish! Fish? Fish! Oh, and I cannot fly in caves. That honestly makes sense. That is some stank beef. We went out for Japanese today, and uh, we just finished recording Divinity, so Shell's hungry. So she microwaved up her, her, um, uh, yaki, nabiyaki beef. And, uh, it is some stank ass beef. It is ridiculous. Wow. I'm like being assaulted by smell bits. I'm not used to it. Could be. Could be any number of things. Probably nabiyaki sauce. But now I'm like drooling because all I've had uh, since lunch was bread. Twilight Lake. I'm going to crash right into it. Okay. So we've discovered a new region. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. 
that self-proclaimed god reaches too far. Hope he stretches himself too thin. Birds! Hello, I am also bird lady. Look, I can bird. Wait, that's lantern. I can bird. Bye. Let me come back. I want to powwow with bird, bird people. Hello, bird people. Holy shit, I'm actually a lot bigger than I thought I was. I was like, oh, we're just like this small little bird thing. Haha, <laughs> I slap you with my wing. For I don't think you can even fly. Bird elitism is, is a new thing. Or maybe it's an always thing. Actually, you know what? No, it seems like... <gasps> Sheep! <gasps> lamb? Oh, they have cute little lamb creatures. That... Oh, it loves me. That is adorable. I mean, it totally just ditched its mother, probably, but still. Ah. Ah. I just hope they're not lemmings. How weird, weird would it be if, like, I lifted off and they grew wings and just followed me for the rest of this game? I don't know. That would be weird. I would enjoy it. <laughs> okay, anything else really on this? There's like this rune here, but it doesn't look like the rune is particularly, um... Interesting. Like most things, it mostly seems to be a, uh... A look at it and then leave. But I guess that's the, kind of the point of this entire game. Oh, you can even see the lambs over here, I believe. Nope, those are flowers. Okay, it looks like the lambs went back to their associated proper parents as opposed to following around Bird Lady. Ah, oh, this music's so good. It fits this game real well. Yeah, going in inverted on the controls is the right way to do. Wander, stop kidnapping babies. No! I will kidnap all of the animal babies. Human babies can go, I don't know, elsewhere. No interest in them. Animal babies, though, mmm. Ooh! Actually did not expect to succeed at that. That was cool, and I'm never gonna do that again. It looks like we've got ghosts down in the sand pit. Whoop! <laughs> Bounced my face right off of the uh, the island and then kept going. Momentum is a funny thing. The river, it has fallen. What are the spirit fish? Is she safe? I mean, I don't see any. Uh, I don't see any spirit fishes here, and honestly, it looks pretty dried up. Right about now. Yeah, not, um... Oh, that animation for banking is really cool. Just the, the wing kind of... The wing just kind of, like, raises itself. I don't know, that's a... A nice detail without too much effort. Looks a little woogly, but whatever. Ooh. Oh, those are the those are the waterfalls, which begs the question, where's the water coming from? Magic, I guess. What? I guess yeah, it probably would have fell fallen. Oh, oh no. No. No, 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 no. Land buddies got Well, they rocked out too hard. Don't do that. People are decidedly not nearly concerned about this, uh, this weird rock... rock plague. As I am. Right, I actually have to land. I'm kind of surprised that there's no slow down button, but whatever. I am Yohal of the Southern Isles. This is the third and final record of my travels in the lands of the gods. I happened upon the fox, just as I was about to leave for home. He sat in the middle of the road, seemed to laugh silently as if to some hidden joke. 
I spoke in anger. My people are dying. What is? Why is this happening? His smile seemed sad. The darkness within called to the darkness without. Heal your people to be healed. This is not your path, Yoval. Yo I did not know what to say and stared after him as he left. Later I realized he was right. It was not my path, but one for my whole people. As I passed the Twilight Lake, I met with Kara for the first time. She showed me the Eventide Sanctuary and asked me to gather everyone I knew. This is the refuge we had hoped for. I will journey home again and I will guide my people here. I will see my only child, Rhea, again, and I will bring her hope. Wee bird. 